Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more Dragon Quest XI. Um, so I spent my time leveling up. Everyone is at least level 40 except Rob, who is like 10,000 points behind. Experience points. Yeah, 15,000. Never mind. Yeah, so I didn't want to keep uh, level grinding for that. As long as everyone's level 40. I don't know what Rab is good at, because he seems to be a magic user, but also a claw person, so I'm like, are you more magical or physical? Because right now his magic sucks. But I don't know. Um, oh yeah, and I found, let's see, info, passwords. I found five toggles with passwords, so I think I might go to, um, Potato Place soon. There's 55 quests, five, 25 passwords, oh, 237 items out of 753. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. Anyways, let us move on with the story. I realized that all the um, potato people you have to find, they're not very far from um, churches, save points. Because this one in uh, Lona Lulu was right in front of the church. I only realized because I saved and then like started up the game again, and it was right there. And last time in um another place, the the Warriors in um it was right by the save point. And weren't there three ships when I was on my way to Lona Lulu? There's only two now. That's worrying. Look how easily they die. Oh yeah, and I got dual wheels for um, Eric and uh, Silvando, but I still have Silvando with his Score whip. One for the good guy. So I feel like he can attack more enemies with a whip. Oh no, are you guys in trouble? These must be the gallant squid hunters. I wonder which ones are blushing. <laughs> hey, Ultimate, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Yahoo! Over here! Excuse me, which one of you big brothers? We're not gonna help you defeat the squid. Kai? We just need to find Kai. They can't hear us, we're too far away. <laughs> they look like they're saying something, but hey Zach, how you I doing? Thanks for joining. Long time no see. Happy New A Year! I Looking forward to you. today's stream. Me too. One of my favorite games ever. Yeah, it's like really charming. I really like it. So beautiful. Don't tell me that's Kai. Above you. Above you. Above you? Happy New Year too. Yeah. Look out! Up there. Up where? <gasps> oh my gosh, that's where the third ship went. I knew I wasn't crazy. Ooh, it's a giant squid. Oh, you have got to be kidding. <laughs> Tentacular. <laughs> I'm ready for anything. I'm ready to kill you. Thunder thrusts, critical hit. Let's try it. Oh, different tentacles. Oh, nice. Um, flame slash, metal slash, pep up. Nope. Uh, let's see. How about zap? Uh, right tentacle. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Right tentacle defeated, okay. You attack everyone. Oh, so little damage, oh no! Um, let's see. Yeah, everyone learned a ton of skills and I haven't seen what they are. Oof, let's decelerate. Mm. Slightly raises the agility of all party members. Uh, ooh, I like Oomful. Oh wait. Of a single party member, this is all party. Okay, um, let's just unful me. Maybe I should have Veronica in here. Uh, it's Eric's turn. Okay. 
Mm, let's see. Abilities. Nope. Spells. And now we're gonna accelerate all of us. Let's get a I like being fast. Uh, the game volume's a little high. Can you lower it? Oh, okay. Unfortunately, only oof. All is pet based power. That sucks. Okay. Whose turn is it? Jade? Let's try Thunder Thrust again. I think she's gonna miss. Yep. You can kind of tell with the animations if it's gonna miss or not. Ow! With its fists? It doesn't have fists, it only has tentacles. Did you get new hair? Because it looks really slick. <laughs> My glasses. Hey Kirby, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Let's just attack normally. 97. Hmm. 97. 109. And you do about a combined... You have far-ranged boomerangs. Why would you need to... Uh, let's see. Kiss me deadly. I don't think any attraction stuff is gonna... Um, damage a boss. Uh, fiery breath, star strike. Confusing. Nope. So that's Oomful Jade. Hey, Smooth, how you doing? Thanks for joining. I'm watching One Piece movie six. Ooh. I don't. I tend not to watch um, any like anime movies because it just seems like filler. Flying enemies, jumping above that deals big damage. Sure. Oh yeah, it's a butt attack. Oh, it really does big damage. Woo. Oh wait, I'm so stupid with Eric. I should have done boulder um boulder thing. Shoot. Let's try flame slash. See how much more damage that does. 160. Okay, not bad. Um let's attack with you. 64, nice. I wasn't interested in them before, but a reviewer told me they are amazing. Mm. Yeah, I heard that, um, whatchamacallit, the My Hero Academia movie is also good. I just haven't picked it up yet. Boulderbringer, here we go. He's almost dead, though, but eh, better late than never. Oh, I should have healed. Whoops. Whoopsies. <laughs> Oh, I did kill him. Yes. Uh, but Easy. they told me a few are amazing. Some of them suck booty. Mm. Like the Naruto movies sucked. <laughs> Mate's back. Oh, he disappeared. He disintegrated. No, I wanted to eat squid for dinner. Thank you, thank you, <laughs> darling. Is Kai the guy who looks like really? adult Gohan? Mahalo, mahalo. Whoever. Oh my, level forty. Are, yep. Easy handle. Enough. Next couple of bosses with ease. Yes, that was the point of grinding. But I can sure feed you enough. Tonight we're gonna have a luau to remember, and you're gonna be the guests of honor. Get ready to drink, dance, and fill your belly with fish till you fall down. Come See, one, this come party scene is probably going to be like the um, party in the prehistoric times with Isla in Chrono Trigger. Just remake Chrono Trigger in this style, please. Square Enix. Hmm. I also need to find a outfit for Rab. I want him to look cool too. Yo, why is it nighttime? Look for Kai and Lana Lulu. You're looking for Kai? Heck, keep looking. It's so much fun sailing with Silver on the Salty Stallion. He's my best mate. Oh, wait, that's just Dave. Wait a minute. I read a book about 
the legend of Dave. He used to be, um, like, a navy admiral or something, but after the king died, he went crazy, and, um, he started to just, like, attack people on the sea. I think this is that Dave. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's Eric. I was like, oh, it's a good-looking boy. <laughs> that must be Kai. Nope. It's just Eric. You were amazing in that battle against the Tentacular. In fact, I've composed a song to commemorate your victory. Would you care to hear it? No. Oh, all that effort for nothing. Well, don't let me keep you. You clearly have more important things to be doing. Other massive pieces to ignore. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm looking for Kai. Uh, wait, maybe he's with his mom. Uh, Silvando, don't ask me. Uh, happy peoples, happy peoples. Okay, yeah. Cutscene. Drunk Luca. Heck yes. And where do you think you're going? I'm looking for guys. What I heard Jolly say. <laughs> I'm looking for a good-looking guy. You're off to look for Kai, aren't you? Well, I'm coming with you. Thank you, big sis. Oh, hello, Veronica. What are you doing out here? Oh, those stupid fishermen said the party was only for grown-ups, so they couldn't let me in. Is every bar in the world full of stubborn idiots or something? You know, if you weren't so hostile to them, maybe anyway, you could need like wheedle your car, way not... to be like, hey, please let me do, in. So I might as well join you. Veronica is too sassy. I feel like if I knew her in real life, I wouldn't be able to handle her. Wait, would you know where he is? Here we are having the biggest luau in a generation and Kai still won't join in. Maybe some excuse about having to go down to the dock to fix his friend's boat. Aha! The dock! Oh, but look! The lights! They're so pretty! You ever have one of those times where one day everything sucks and you have a really night and then the very next day you have one of the greatest nights of your ever life? Me, I hope you're doing well. Oh no! Well, I'm glad you're having a better day. I'm... I'm doing relatively okay. I can't complain. Even though the world is a little weird right now, but I can't complain. Ooh, there's a shiny over there. But right now we gotta look for Kai on a boat. Are you Kai? Oh hey, you're the guys who beat the Tentacular, right? We owe you one that for that, for sure. You should get back to the Luau. I'll bet the rest of the men will be missing their guests of honor already. Unless you got some business with me. You're looking for a guy called Kai, huh? Sure, that's me. Kai Nui to my mama, but everyone just calls me Kai. What do you want? Remind Kai that Michelle is waiting for him? Yes. Wordly to wordly? Huh? Sorry, but I'm not the man from your story. You must have me mixed up with somebody else. There's only one hmm. Kai that we Don't know. Don't give us that nonsense. We know you're the only Kai in Lonolulu. If you never meant to marry that poor mermaid, you should never have proposed to her. Yeah, you jerk. Hey, go easy on the accusations, will you? People here got no love for mermaids. If they think I do, I'll be in trouble. Okay, so he's not the good-looking guy from the boat. <sighs> the Kai you're looking for is my grandfather, Kai Noah. I take it you've heard the tale of the mermaid. It's his curse. grandpa? So the so the dude ended up marrying the mayor's daughter after all? Yes, yes, your mother told us all about it. But I can't see what an old fairy tale has to do with anything. You can't keep Michelle waiting any longer. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's not I'm a fairy tale. I'm trying to tell it's you. It's true. The fisherman from the story? That was my two. I have the greatest grandpa. voice acting. <laughs> it all happened 50 years ago. And it happened just like my ma tells it. But the story didn't end there. Ten years after Grandpa got chased out of the village, the Kahuna's daughter, Leilani, she married another man. And they had a kid together. 
Okay, but your grandpa had to have. After the baby came, you know. the people started to forget about Kainoa and the curse the mermaid put on him. Till Everyone in this day. game has ridiculous voice acting, especially that little girl that's in your group. Yeah, Veronica's is a little, like, overdone. But, like, overall, I think the voice acting is pretty good. Another great storm struck, even more violent than the one that sent my grandfather to the bottom of the sea. The Kahuna's boat went down, and him and his daughter's new husband went with it. The men who survived went to break the news to Leilani, but when they got there, her and the baby, they were nowhere to be found. Oh, uh, what? The villagers said it was the mermaid's revenge that she took all four of them because she couldn't have I love how overdone no Veronica's is. Oh my goodness! They won't let me into the party! <laughs> no voice acting ever beats the original Resident Evil and Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I never heard those. Maybe I should check them out. So they lit torches and they marched to Saikiki Beach to confront him. When they threw open the door of his hut, they couldn't believe what they saw. She was there! Whoa! He'd been living all alone for the last ten years. But there he was with a baby in his arms. And the baby, it was dripping with water. Why are their skin... Why is their skin blue? They ran off screaming talking about how he must have had a kid with the mermaid. And that was the last time anyone from the village went to Saikiki. So how did you Wait, become his grandson? That baby must have been your mother, which would mean she was half mermaid, which would make you... Cooly cooly, don't even say <laughs> Cooly cooly. My mother is a human being. My grandpa found her abandoned on the beach and raised her as his own. Like, he sounds so ang- He's supposed to be angry, but he's just like, My mother is a human being. Like... He never had a kid with a mermaid. That's just a stupid rumor made up by a bunch of superstitious fishermen. If that mermaid really is still out there somewhere waiting for grandpa, there's something I want you to give her. Meet me on Saikiki Beach. It's on the other side of the cave. Why don't you just you give it to me the now? The back of the village. <gasps> We're the right here home. together, dude. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. What? That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. He's totally not reading this directly from the script, but like, ugh. Acting, man, give give some emotion. Why is Serena pink? A fisherman ran up to the church just now. He looked very upset. I do hope it's not another injury. Oh, is that Kai? How strange. I thought he'd be pleased to hear that Michelle was still thinking about him, but he looked rather gloomy. Oh, maybe she's healing them from the squid battle. Okay. Or this is galaxy voice acting and it's intentional. I have no idea. Ugh, it just sounds like ugh. Like, get good voice actors, guys. Oops. I missed the stairs. Okay, so Rab's having fun with her. I don't need to talk to her. I know where Kai is. I'm curious to know if Japanese VA is the same here. Similar? No, he'd probably... I feel like he'd have a little bit more emotion. Instead of just... My grandma... My mom is a human being. Me, 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 me. Shiny spot! Ooh, crimson coral. What? The gravestone is old and worn, and the inscription is too faded to read. Ooh, but it's only one small grave marker. It must be important. Where the heck are you, Kai? 
Looking for treasure chests. Give me more mini medals. Do -do. Starting to remind me of Morgana. I'm a human. I'm not a cat. You clearly are a cat. You're in a cat body, you weirdo. This veil was my tutus. Ma said when she found him after he died, he was just lying there holding on to it. Guess there was a reason I never threw it away. If you really know where to find that mermaid, I want you to take it to her and tell her he's dead. Hey guys, take this to her and tell her he's dead. Like... Hey. <sighs> the lover's veil, that's very pretty. Look, I'm sorry if I was kind of short with you back there, but it hasn't been easy for me and my ma. After Grandpa died, they let her go back to the village and marry a local guy, but it didn't stop folks talking. The baby was dripping with water. It's not like he could ever go, like, was she he stuck inside the shack? Was he not allowed to take baths or something? And now that's how she makes her living. Uh. She's a smart woman. Tough, too. I hate that mermaid for what she's put us through. And I don't want my kids to suffer like we have. The I hate her so much. This is me the being is angry. Undone. Please take the veil and let that be an end to it. Uh, I can't zoom to her, huh? Return to the strands. Yeah, I can. Oh, I can. Nice. Uh, he never did turn back into a human permanently. <laughs> the Lover's Veil sounds like a bad romance movie. Oh my gosh, it probably exists though. <laughs> you can. Yeah, I did. Wee. Guess what, Michelle? Bad news. Hello again, my friend. I'm so, so happy you've returned. It's been so long since you went off, I've got a big concern. I worry that your ship had sunk or Kai had gone away. That's why I'm singing happy songs to keep my tears at bay. But you don't need to know that. Seriously, shut up, Shell. The only thing that matters now is that you're safe and well. So tell me, did you find my Kai? Is he as well as ever? Is he on his way to meet me here so we can be together? Lie to Michelle and tell her that Kai is coming to meet her? <laughs> oh god, the writing, I know. No, I'm gonna tell her the truth! My Kai is dead? That can't be true! I don't believe a word! It's ludicrous, ridiculous, preposterous, absurd! Hold on a minute, what's that thing you're holding in your hand? A net of pearls and seashells on a pretty coral band? You say my Kai made me this veil to wear when we were wed? And clutched it as he passed away. You're saying that he's dead? No, please, no, it can't be so. I know he'd never break that promise that he made to me. There must be some mistake. She broke this. She didn't rhyme. Ha <laughs> ha. How can my Kai have passed away? I nursed him back to health. I simply won't believe it till I found out for my. No, oh, she went back to rhyming. I need to meet the Kai you met and hear it straight from him. Take me to Lona Lulu. You can sail and I can swim. What's that? Why don't I come aboard? Oh, thanks. You're very kind. But there's a lot to think about. I'll follow on behind. Please! <laughs> oh, the rhyming. Oh, yeah. So the lake is like a little heart. And the island is an ocarina. Haha. <laughs> Oops. Why'd I do that? We're gonna zoom to Lunalulu. Mysterious power prevents the spell from working. Well, that's stupid. Dave! Uh, no, that's not true. That's impossible. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. No! You should speak every stream with rhymes from here on out for eternity. No, 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 no. I am not witty enough for rhyming. If the locals see a mermaid, it'll fill their hearts with fear. I'll hide on this abandoned beach and wait for Kai right here. I'm sorry to keep asking, but this, my, this is my final plea. Would you please find that man you met and bring him back to me? 
Uh, oh, okay, so we're right here. Thank goodness. An ocarina of time. The door is locked. Where the hell did you go, you stupid boy? Oh, so maybe that one small grave was for um Kai's grandpa. Cause they're like, ah, he was part of our village, but he became a weirdo and an outcast. Yes, 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 for infinity. Uh, 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 uh. If anything, I'd want to learn how to speak in haikus. Uh, ooh, a pot. Hello. Vial of magic water. Where did everyone go? Where the heck is Kai? Speak with Kai and Lana Lulu and take her to Shaky Beach. Kai's house. Okay. Wow, it's all the way at the frickin' beginning. Come on, Kai, follow me. Do, 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 do. Kai's house is right up here. For being an outcast, they have a pretty big house. <laughs> so, so, did you give that mermaid the veil? Yes. Mahalo. Thanks, friend. Sorry for making you take care of that for me. I should do something for you in return. Fix up your ship? Go get you some pearls, maybe? Just say the word. Huh? You want me to go to Saikiki Beach with you? Why would you want to go to a lonesome place like that? Well, if you're sure that's all you want, I guess a promise is a promise. Lead the way. I tried to make it as dead and soulless like he sounds. A plus for voice acting? I try. <laughs> the only way I can entertain you guys. Jelly Toast plays game. She played some Persona 5 and I said, for real? <gasps> I still have to platinum that game. Yeah, on my new game plus, I'm gonna romance all the girls. And I'm gonna get Platinum Trophy! And max out all the social links! Oh! That's Haiku! Jelly Toast plays game! She played some Persona 5 and I said for real- Ah! That's awesome! Golden! That's perfect! Kai did say Mama was allowed to join back in the village and remarry. Oh yeah, but like... You know... You'd think they wouldn't- I guess her husband was rich then. Where are the stairs? I I can read maps. Oh no wait, we're not going for the stairs. We're going for... Uh, I can read maps. <laughs> I'm 92% with platinum trophy. Why have you nice. Me here? Awesome, it is awesome. That voice, it's music to my ears. I feel like I could cry. Oh, darling, tell me, is it you? My one and only Kai? Yeah, I'm Kai. Do I know you? All I'm missing is a few mementos trophies in the bathhouse one. Bathhouse. Oh my gosh, you're a mermaid! <sighs> what? You're a mermaid? Oh, silly me. I'm always far too quick to jump for joy. You don't know me. I don't know you. Jelly reads maps while well. actually no, she does not. not. Oh, yep. Boy. I can't read that. <laughs> no, I'm not. The man you This is loved, a great time to uh, go why. But he's not here anymore. That is his grave. My darling Kai, my one Man, I want to see what Kai looked like, though. The one that I adored. You died alone and friendless on this cold and windswept shore. Oh, how could I forget we mermaids live 500 years? Quick as a flash, a human life just ups and disappears. 
Without Kai, hours seem to pass too slowly to be true. But now I see cruel time was flowing faster than I knew. This is a really pretty image without the text box. <sighs> You're not supposed to dive in shallow water! You could get hurt. Thanks for finding Kai for in me. In that case, for your birthday, I'm buying you an atlas. <laughs> Just because I get an atlas sea. doesn't mean I'll Until know how to properly to read maps, dude. <laughs> I said I would How does she get perfect hair like that? I mean, I mean she's a mermaid and going through water. It's you because she's a mermaid. They have the magical mermaid powers. Where we met. I'm sorry I can't come along and see you on your way. But now I'm here. Jelly, my message, I she didn't see a haiku. Back. I'm very sad. I think I have to stay. Oh! Jelly reads maps well. Actual, actually, she does not. That's only six! Actu- unless you go actually, she does not- oh poor jelly toes. Ha 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 Grilled cheese! Mmm, grilled cheese! Hey Salk, how you doing? Thanks for joining! I want grilled cheese. What happened with Kai? He's dead. It turns out Kai was, um, the- the lady, red-haired lady we saw yesterday, it was her dad. That's who Kai was. Michelle sings a bewitching melody that reverberates off the cliffs above. Wait, but if you get wet, then... then you'll turn into foam. I waited for you so, so long through sun and stormy weather. But now it's time, at long, long last, we're going to be together. Hey, do you know what happened to the old kahuna? And his daughter. And the daughter's husband. Your granddad's hands, you know, so soft yet strong and honest. <laughs> the hands of one who'd never ever make a faithless promise. Avocado toast are really simple to make. Rename Jelly's avocado toast. They're really simple to make. Rename Jelly's name. Rename Jelly's name. Yeah. I I wanted to buy some avocados, but I was like, yeah, I don't have enough bread, so I won't make it. Grilled cheese is so good. I suck at making it though. I just burned the bread. Grilled cheese is so good. A I suck at making it, so I just burn it. You guys are so awesome with the haikus. Damn. Right. Put butter under bread so it cooks lower. She's gonna Kermit Swiss. <laughs> you gotta if show I me the way to the to the underwater city, though, Michelle, you can't Perhaps die. Oh, she's gonna die if she goes in water, though. All our chats be. are dissolving into haikus. <laughs> in bed, why? <laughs> yes, more haikus! All the haikus! But I'm a mermaid. He's a man. There's no point asking why. He was my one true love. But now, it's time to say... You can't stop her! If she gets wet again, she'll just turn into foam. So she can't ever take showers or brush her teeth. So, yeah, she's gotta go. This is really sad. What the freak? Yo, that's kind of scary. I'm thinking I've seen her somewhere before. Of course! Grandpa's cabin! Where's Grandpa's cabin? Oh, so this is the cabin that they kept him locked up all those years. Eh. Told you she was committed. <laughs> Wait, before I, I look around. 
A pitch pearl. Ooh. Pots can't break. Ah, so he was an artiste. No books. Okay. Okay, let's do. So pretty! Hmm. <gasps> What's this? A letter. A letter! This is Grandpa's handwriting. How would you know? <laughs> when people are like, oh, this is... It definitely this person's handwriting. I'm like, I don't know the handwritings of my friends or family members. Dearest beloved. Ever since oh, wait. Okay, he's the talking. The great storm. The dream of one day being reunited with you is all I have lived for. But now I fear that dream is over. Forgive me, my darling, but I cannot keep my promise. Some years after my boat was burned and I was exiled to this beach, the fishing fleet was hit by another great storm, and many people lost their lives. The Kahuna and his daughter Leilani's husband were among them. One night, not long afterward, I saw a woman standing on the cliffs. She had a baby in her arms. It was Leilani, the woman who was once to be my wife. Okay, so he did see Leilani. Flashback scene, please! I want to see what they look like. With her father and husband no! gone, she had lost all hope and all reason. I called out to her, but in her grief... Oh, that's why they were dripping wet, because she probably me. jumped in and he at least saved the baby. Before my disbelieving eyes, she threw herself into the ocean. I tried to save them. I did everything I could, but only the baby survived. What do you know? They do look alike. Kai? <laughs> you're sure you're fine to row back home? You're not in any pain? I wish you'd let me keep you till you're fighting fit again. Don't worry about me, Michelle. You fixed me up real good. I'm fitter than ever. I still have terrible voice acting. Huh? <laughs> Kai, I know you've got to go. There's things you have to do. Just promise me you'll be back soon. I'll wait right here for you. But he stayed for the baby! It's all my fault. Hmm. Baby! Oh, tiny fingers! I'm sorry, Michelle. I... I can't leave. I can't just be thinking of myself anymore. This child needs Wait, me. Wait, but how long was he in the cabin for? They said 10 years, right? You mean for 10 years you just decide to stay put in this cabin? Me, but it's only because they don't understand. They don't want what happened to me to happen to anybody else. What, to want you marry the love of their me. lives? They don't want anyone they to do that? They don't know you like I do. They don't know you at all. And what they don't know, they fear. I sometimes wonder if you're still sitting there on that rock. <sighs> I ate my grilled cheese, still now it's gone for forever. I ate my grilled cheese, now it is gone forever. I am sad now, man. <laughs> yes, I goose! I knew Corona made people will have to stay indoors, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> What? You want to marry a beautiful girl? You're not allowed to leave. 
will understand if you can never forgive me. But I want you to know one thing. I'll always love you. I love you. I always will. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been so hard on you. And without you, I'd <laughs> Your never voice have acting known sucks. Who's the voice actor for this dude? You're terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's almost as bad as English Mita in Tales of Zillia. Oh this gosh. Time, I hated that mermaid for what she did to my grandfather. But now I see how he really felt. He wasn't cursed. <sighs> He really loves Bro, just have her. Michelle help take care of the child. That's what I was thinking. It's like, okay, while the child is like an infant, stay on land, like so that the baby has food to survive. And then once it becomes like two years old, three years old, like enough, old enough to, you know, be able to travel further, but not retain memories well, like go find Michelle. Like, what the heck? This, this was... It was sad, but it's like, dude, you brought this on yourself? <laughs> eh. Sorry for making- I'm sorry for making you do all that stuff for me and my family, but thanks. Because of you, my eyes are finally open. In my heart of hearts, I think I hated my grandpa more than I hated the mermaid who cursed him. I was ashamed. But now I know the truth. He wasn't cursed. He was in love. Cool. Cool story, bro. To IMDB, that mermaid has boobs, but the villagers don't know, so they... So, what? So they say he's cursed. The mermaid has boobs, the mermaid has boobs, but the villagers don't know, so they say he's cursed. <laughs> Robots of... Search the strand for the special treasure of the mermaids. Huh, I wonder where the treasure could be. <laughs> I want the um, harvest spot again, though. First. Some bleach sea cell. Jump! <sighs> what luck! Jelly Toast finds Lorelei's harp. Gratefully pockets his find. There's a note at the bottom of the chest. Jelly Toast takes it out and begins to read. Dear friend, if you are reading this, it means I've gone away. If what you said to me is true, I don't think I can stay. Thanks for all you've done for me, and please don't feel too sad. After my Kai, you're the kindest friend I ever had. I promised I'd, that I'd take you to the mermaid Zebra town, and though I can't come with you now, this harp will take you down. You'll find a shining whirlpool far inside the inland sea. Sail over it and strum that harp to meet her majesty. Please tell the queen I'm happy now, and there's no need to cry. I'm finally reunited with my dear darling Kai. Shoot, you're still talking? Perhaps one day we'll meet again, but for now, farewell. You'll be my friend until the end. You're sincerely, Shell. Oh, gosh. Speaking in rhymes with her voice and accent is tiring. <laughs> Watch your boss. Make me dab. Boom. Hydrate. Boom! Okay, so there's a whirlpool, they say. Inland, okay. Inland we go. Oh, inland we go. Before we go inland, I'm gonna use a holy water. I'm gonna have to buy more holy waters. Not bad. Yay! Wee 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 wee. I want this ship to get like wings later so that we can use it as an airship. But that's my wishful thinking. I don't know if it'll actually happen. Oh yeah, I tried to um teleport back to Heliodora area to get that one quest I missed, and I can't. Heliodor is not a place I can zoom to, even though I've rested at campsites before. So I hope I can get back to it soon. Damn it! Meow, meow. 
Okay, here we go. Gummy ship? Oh wait, you mean like an air pirate ship. Yeah, like an air pirate ship. I have reward I have reward points. I wanted them as haikus, but my name is long. <laughs> Well, that was easy. Thank you for taking the effort to make everything into haikus. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. There's a pillow of light on the surface of water. Play Leroy's harp? Yes. Yo, it's One Piece. I'm in a pirate ship and I'm going to the mermaids. That's where I stopped reading One Piece. There's a channel point redemption make me improvise a haiku. Oh, that's actually a good idea. Maybe I should do that. The way those rhymes were written surely had Kai smitten. <laughs> nice rhyme. You can dock at Heliodor Beach. You can only travel to places after you got the... Oh, okay. Thanks, Ultimate, for letting me know. Um, What the heck? What was... Re that was blocked? Saying yo ho ho? Wow, that's stupid. We could go to Mermaid Island 200 chapters later. Oh. <laughs> that's exactly what it feels like, though. Hello. Whoa! The rainbow glows brightly. What are the oracles speeding? Dude! Oh my gosh, this is such amazing freaking attention to detail because we're underwater now. Like, our jumps are slower and longer, and oh my gosh, this is amazing! They could have made it just be like, oh yeah, you're just doing normal jumps, but no! They took into the account that we're freaking underwater! Oh my gosh! Yeah. Whee! 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 Oh, I guess cutscene. Jumpy toes. When it comes to rhymes, I don't really care because I got my rhymes from Dare. <laughs> Yo, was Dare still a thing? I know it was around when I was in elementary school, but then I thought it kind of like died out. I wasn't calling you a hoe, I swear. <laughs> How could you, Golden? Crevens. This place is a veritable paradise under the sea. Just when you think you've seen it all, you find yourself in Mermaid Town. Mermaid Town. So we can breathe underwater now? That harp is something else. Well, now we're here. I guess we can find out if that's that the thing for me in elementary school. Mm. Is Dare is very much still a thing. Oh, that's cool. I don't know how effective it is important. because you know we need to talk to the queen vaping first. now we have to tell her about Michelle I had it in elementary school and that's why I'm no fool <laughs> Wee Nautica Put on your Nautica. It's time for Hanukkah. Yo! And all my two score in 2010 years. What? What? Two score in 2010 years? I've never talked to a human till today. You must be the guest Queen Marina mentioned. It's Her Majesty's magic that lets you breathe below the water. A special service for our guests of honor. Without it, you'd be gunners. She awaits you in her pearly palace at the pinnacle of the prominence. I speak, of course, of the tower at the top of the hill. How come, like, dudes can't be good looking? How come only the girls are, like, beautiful looking? Where are the pretty mermen? This is discrimination. Oh, it's a shark! <laughs> it doesn't seem to understand what Jelly Toast is saying. Oh, okay, I guess I can't, um. I can't buy armors yet. I wanted to see if there were any, uh, outfits. Oh wait, I need to buy more holy waters. Uh, give me... No, 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 no. Whoops. Uh, ooh, that's cool. Oh, you don't have holy waters. Well, screw you, man. Well, not really, but you know. I don't need you then! 
four score and seven years ago. Yeah, I'm trying to think of how much time uh, a score is. I forget. About 2010 years? Oh, so he's like over 2,000 years old. <gasps> There's turtle swimming? I can't see. I can't see. Gosh darn. They just had the turtle shadows. <laughs> I'm having fun jumping everywhere. <gasps> a book! Hand-drawn book entitled Living With Me Under the Sea to, with Tukai, my guy, from Michelle, your bell, written on it. Jealous of for the shelf and has a closer look. Oh, Kai, just can't wait to live with you beneath the sea. A few rules just to help you settle in more easily. First, don't panic. Take a slowly take, breathe a nice deep breath. Panicking while swimming is a recipe for death. Next, no teasing. Just because the fish looks small and meek, his mom might be ten times your size, then you'll be up the creek. Third, don't look up. I'm not sure where you see how water flows, but waves can often send the currents right up your nose. Fourth, clean your gills. They're like your lungs. Try not to get them blocked. A bit of grit and you'll be in for quite the nasty shock. Last but not least, think of the other. Selfishness is wrong. It's obvious, I know, but it'll help you get along. Oh, so was this their, her house? Oh. Uh, hi. I'm not a weirdo. <laughs> I'll just leave now. <laughs> uh, dare is only really a thing in elementary school because once you get to like middle school and high school, they expect you to not do it, even though most people do it anyway. Yeah. It's like they tell you, they teach you when you're young. But then, you know, middle school is a whole different beast, man. Mini metal, woo! How are you breathing? With mermaid magic. Because we played a harp. <laughs> Jelly sees Eric. Jelly pu becomes dirty toast. Tone it down, Eric. <laughs> nice haiku. Whee! Let's go in! Whee! Whee! So where's the queen? This is the palace. No? This is the palace. Uh... I am a priestess of the sunken spirit with no name. Through our gods differ, let us pray together all the same. Uh, I guess I'll save? Uh, queen? Hello? Are you the queen? Uh, welcome to the palace of the queen beneath the sea. Her majesty awaits you in the throne room presently. Alas, the hall is high above and we do not use stairs, but if you will permit me, I will carry you up there. Yes. Just take my hand, I'll take you up, as simple as can be. So tell me, are you all prepared to meet her majesty? Yes. Very well, then hold on tight, we don't want you to fall. A moment swim and we'll be in the queen's audience hall. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, funny thing, oh yeah. Funny thing is, when I was in high school, I didn't smoke and they had dogs sniff my van because it looked like a stereotypical drug dealing van. That's, that's, uh, stereotyping and discriminating, which is bad. <laughs> cool, thanks for, uh, clipping all of my speed reading segments. It's fun to go back and look at them again. <laughs> oh, she's pretty! I welcome you to Nautica, the land beneath the waves. Oh, what brings you, Prince of Dandrasil, down to these coral caves? How do you know I'm the prince? Huh? How hey! do you know he's Same the wavelength as Eric. Nice. I might as well be useful for something. Just hanging around and chatting is useful. Speed toast. <laughs> I have a second sight that touches every quarter, by which I keep abreast of all the news above the water. Abreast. Of doomed love between men and mermaids, let us later speak. First, allow me to present the. Oh, so she already knows see. about Michelle. Wait, so you knew her lover was Behold dead, shining sphere but you didn't try to bring Michelle Behold back home? You just left her up there for the years? Of the world above are marvelous indeed. Consider this my thanks for what you did for dear Michelle. They all rhyme. Like they Pray all think on a dime. <laughs> I may serve you well. I guess each town has their thing. Mermaids speak in rhymes. Hato speaks in haikus. I thought they would have the white orb. 
but I guess they have green. So now I have red, yellow, green. So now I need to find three more, and then I reach Yggdrasil. I witnessed the whole sorry tale. It Wait, but then I feel heart. like I'm not even that close to the, the end of the game. I feel like there's still like a ton of stuff to do. Maybe going to Yggdrasil is going to be like its own like other half of the story. But while the mermaid's burden holds, such romances are blighted. And love between man and sea maiden fizzles unrequited. For years now, I have sought a way to remedy this curse. Alas, my every effort ends in failure or worse. Ellie and Eric, they really think the same way. Time to get married. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Where's the town of ghosts that speaks in riddles? Oh my gosh, if that is true, I would love to go to that town. Who live 500 years and more down here beneath the sea. But though the flame of human life burns short, it burns so bright. You never cease to struggle. No, you push, you strive, you fight. And so your kind admire our kind, but we admire in turn. It is the world tree's will that from each other we should learn. Well, you won't learn anything nice from it was Kai's the world village. Tree's will that brought Michelle and Kai together. I pray that in their next lives they may stay that way forever. So too was it the world tree's will that brought you here today. But now, dear luminary. You must be upon your way. Tell me where the next orb is, please. Or so wait, so since she knows where um what everything is happening on top side, she can tell us where all the other orbs are just right now. Anon. And then we could just go boom boom boom. Hit them all up. Yeah. Remember, though the paths we walk are filled with twists and turns, all roads lead from the tree of life, and to the tree return. Tell me where the other orbs are, please. That's not how RPGs work. Mermaid for each other. Ha 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 ha. It was not chance that brought you here. It was the world tree's will. No doubt she has some further fate in store for us to still. So set sail to the time of time that flows ceaselessly on. And if Yggdrasil wills it, we shall meet again anon. Remember, though, the paths we walk are filled with twists and turns. All roads lead from the tree of life to the tree return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need all six orbs to reach Yggdrasil. If you're not sure to where to find them, ask Queen Marina. I am! Greetings, Luminary. Pray, what brings you back to me? Do you require the counsel of the queen beneath the sea? Hmm, <laughs> I thought so. If you're happy to be led, allow me to advise you on the path that lies ahead. In the western reaches, the uh, shining whirlpool swirls, there lies a fine academy for graceful little girls. The master's an eccentric sort, you might think him quite mad, but if you were to visit him, I'm sure he'd make you glad. This is all the vision granted unto me the show. Go forth, my child, and find this place. The world tree wills it so. Okay! Time to go to the academy and get, um, oh wait. Oh. Cool, I'm just falling now. Nice! Academy for schoolgirl outfits. A quest! Hello. If only I could hear once more that pretty ditty I adore. Yo, talk to her. I was obsessed with humans around 50 years ago. When their ships sailed overhead, I'd watch them from below. There was a certain sturging sh trading ship which brought me so much joy, for in its crew there was a most delightful little boy. Man, they're all just into little boys. His tiny fingers tickled on a lyre silver strings, and every day from dawn to dusk the darling boy would sing. The songs he sang were nothing like the dirges of our nation. Those merry medleys moved me to a state of exaltation. But after just a sh few short years, I heard his voice no more. Perhaps he left the crew and now he sings his sh songs ashore. Oh, how I wish to hear once more those heavenly refrains. Could you find him, friend, and beg that boy to sing again? Greco's Titan. Ooh, Triton. Uh. Thank you. Let me tell you all that I recall of him. It was so very long ago, my memories grow dim. His ship was brightly colored. Silver, gold, chartreuse, and pink. A, world, a word was painted on the prow. Gondolia, I think. Does that mean anything to you? Is it some sort of clue? Please find that boy again and have him sing his song anew. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun. That's the only quest. Let me make sure I'm not missing a... Okay. What? Wait! There is one in Puerto Valor? 
But why is it on page two? Because Puerto Valor, I reached it before Lona Lulu. Huh? Gondolia? But I reached that way before. What? Then why is it all the way back here? That makes no sense. Okay, well, there's no Tickington down here. Ah, maybe I can go get, um, armors and stuff now. Hmm. If you leave the palace and go back and talk to you, tell you where you go if you need help. Aha! Ha! <laughs> you said Diddy. <laughs> I did say Diddy. Oh, okay. It's still a shark. Never mind. The hell is chartreuse? Chartreuse is like, um, a yellowish brown color. It's not very pretty. Think it's color? Yeah, it's not a pretty color. Oh man, another ugly color is puce. Hello. Uh, welcome to the seabed realm, oh humans from on high. It has been many centuries since your la kind, since last your kind dropped by. If you should miss the air above, just tell me and I'll send you. I had the power to summon bubbles, one of which I'll lend you. Well, travelers, what say you? Shall I put my plans into motion and send you and your ship back to the surface on the ocean? Yes. If you ever should wish to visit Nautica again, just sail over our entranceway and strum that sweet refrain. Yellowish brown, insert toilet humor here, bazinga, a joke within a joke. Same with Puce! Puce is, I think, more disgusting than Chartreuse. <clears throat> okay, so Gondolia. Uh, gon Gondolia. Wait, can't I just zoom to Gondolia? Gondolia. Gondolia. The land of Okay, so now we need to find a bard. Or a dude that sings. Where are, are you, dude? Okay, a guy that sings. A guy that sings. Uh, there's no way he'd come back. Who? Sir Jasper to stay, told me to stay here and keep an eye out for the dark spawn in case he comes back. Speaking of which, your hair. It's so smooth and shiny. I wish mine was like that. <laughs> Don't worry about that one. Won't get told much later when you're able to unlock the jail doors. Jail doors? Um, let's see. A guy with a harp. A guy with a harp. Is it you? Seeing your universe was cancelled. It's a shame. It would be perfect chance for all the people to hear my beautiful voice. Speaking of a beautiful voice, the sailors, they talk about a voice they hear out in the sea. They tell me it is simply bellissimo. But the people who hear it, they fall asleep. And while they sleep, an horrible monster attack their ship and drag it down into the water. It's scared, you know? But if I am honest, I still wish to hear it. It's no possible it can be more beautiful than mine. Okay, so it's not him. Mm. The gray doors that are locked? Or whoa. Nope, you're a kid. I'm oh wait, maybe it would be by the docks. Yeah. Cause if he used to sing on a ship, then I should look for the boat first. Look, I'm in Venice. Like, gondolas look cool and all, but uh, I feel like I would get seasick on them and puke. <laughs> 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 
Also, don't they monitor these boats? What if, like, someone purposely crashes and sinks it? Where do I- oh, okay, I think the docks are upstairs. And then over here... yeah. Down here... To the docks... Wait, break the barrels! Yes. Back- no, 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 not back aboard! No, I just wanted to go to the docks! No! Frack! Let me back in, please. Yes. Ugh. Kick. Dude by the lighthouse? Lighthouse? Lighthouse. Oh, okay, over there. Dude, dude by the lighthouse boom do 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 are at the lighthouse you it's hard to believe now but when i'm a boy i have a voice like an angel il piccolo angelo they call me the capitano of the biggest ship in gondolia he take me aboard to sing for the sailors i travel everywhere it's so much fun molto divertente even the sea creatures come to hear me sing. One time I even see the face of Una Sirenetta, a real life mermaid. If you know, believe me, go ask her yourself. I did! Jotos tells the old sailor about the mermaid and Nautica who wants to hear a song again. Yo ho ho, di certo, this is the mermaid I saw all those years ago. I am so happy that she remembers me. Sono felice! I would very much like to sing for her again, but I am an old man now. My voice is not what it was. But you, you are a healthy young ragazzo. You will not run out of breath so easily. If I teach you, will you sing to her my song? Yes. Grazie mille. Thank you, traveler. Well then, if you are listening carefully, the song, it goes like this. Farewell to thee, dear contest stage. Goodbye, cake shop. Goodbye. I'm bound for Octagonia, my humble wares to ply. I'm bound for Octagonia by way of Zvarger's trown. A right to the a letter love when I am homeward bound. So fare thee well when I return. United we will be. Leaving Gondolia is not what hurts my love. It's leaving thee. Yo ho ho. How long has it been since I am last singing this song? Now it is your turn, traveler. Let the mermaid hear my shanty once again. Yay. I think I should have tried harder to sing the song in his voice, but wait. Nautica! Thanks for the hint, ultimate! What if you have to remember this? Frack. I'm screwed. <laughs> Mermaid! I'm back! Ugh, this stupid curved hallway. Just let me run straight in peace. Wee! How do mermaids reproduce if there are no mermen? Hmm. Hello. Welcome back to Nautica. You've been so very long. Did you find the minstrel boy? Did he sing you his song? Tells the mermaid of the old sailor story and sings the song that he taught him. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> That's the one, the pretty little song that I adored. It seems like yesterday I heard him strum those sunny chords. But now you say he's old and gray? Your lives go by so fast. You fill your songs with fire, for you know that fire won't last. I feel that passion once again, and it's all thanks to you. Please take this, my friend. It's the least that I could do. Gringo's Tyrant! Yay! Those little green guys, those are the mermen. Uh, no! Imagine if Jelly was a mermaid living in this world. I would love it! To be underwater? Beautiful. Maybe they die after meeting. <laughs> like, um, praying mantises. Because the female gets so tired after giving birth, she eats the she eats the male for sustenance. <gasps> and being disappointed with lack of handsome mermen. No! 
Uh, I mean, if Eric drops by every once in a while, uh, that won't be too bad. <laughs> yeah, take me up! Take me up before you go go. Okay, now I've got to go all the way over there. Damn it. Wait, what? Yeah, down. Every once in a while, you mean every day? Heck yeah, I mean every day! Mother flipping! Stay away from me! I will kill you in an instant. Look at that! Dead! Now don't come near me. If you want to live. Haikus, yeah, haikus! Yeah, the first the first line needs to be five syllables. Solano, you missed? You missed! Uh yeah. Uh uh no the it was the little thing. Okay, that was delay in music? Oh yeah, my PS4, I had it on all day, and it hasn't shut down once. I think it's because I uh, cleaned out the fan and all the dust. Okay, and now I go up. It's fracking crack! Go, Eric. Go first, Eric, or Silvando. Well, nope, that's gonna be Jade. I take one extra turn. Fabulous. Knock on wood, don't have fate. Ah! Don't have fate, don't have fate, knock on wood. Dusty toast. Uh, my room is so dusty. Um, this is a cute island, but I'll skip it for now. <gasps> Snow! Mmm! <laughs> Whoa! Okay, these are new enemies. Oh, those slimes are so cute! Sea slime! Ooh, wow! Okay, these guys are tougher. Heliodor Beach is right around the bend from Nautica. Can go there anytime. Oh! Yeah, I think I'll, um, go to Heliodor after stream if they'll allow me. Shambles. Easy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm I'm just in autopilot mode. Bec oh, that's it, Giselle. I want to go to that snow town. Snow fortress. Okay. Pillar of Light on uh, the Lord Light Harp. Yeah. Is that a slime wearing an otter carcass? Was it a slime? I thought it was like a dude. Oh, so that's how you transport me. Oh, so now we're all the way back here. Oh, yeah. Champ Sal Sauvage. Oh no, it's gonna be the French place. I don't know how to speak French. I don't know how to pronounce fans words. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be butchering all of these words on... Sorry. Ah! <gasps> Potato! The eerie eerie or phenomenon. Phenomenon? <laughs> Is that a ghost town? Okay, so there are campsites up there and there, and the Academy de Notre Maître de Medieval. <laughs> okay. Fight you once! 
Spiked hairs. Wait, didn't I fight spiked hairs already? I guess I didn't, because it takes more than 70 to kill them. But now I fought you once, so now I don't need to fight you. I need to fight you, though. Attack Lump Mage. Well, that's not a very creative name. I forgot. It's Veronica. Oh, she killed him anyway. Victory! Victory! I want to check out the campsite first. Whoa. Are you riding a metal slime? No way, but... Do you guys give the same experience as metal? No, because they're easier to hit. Whoops, I forgot, it's Veronica. We did it, you tricked me! You don't give experience like metal. <sighs> Let's write it. Wait! <laughs> and he's just hanging on! Oh my gosh, that's really cute! Boop, 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 boop. Huh, well, you can't continue this way while mounted. Well then, dismount. That was fun while it lasted, I guess? I don't know why I would need to ride that one. I don't know where it can take me. Oh no! Okay, yeah. Campsite! Uh, potato mages, yay! That's a better name for them instead of lump mage. Boingy toast, slimy toast. I don't want to be slimy toast. That's gross. Okay, now let's uh, go back. Go back. How do we get out of here? Okay, here. Whoa, regular slime. I'm going completely the wrong way. Oh no. Uh, how do I get up? Oh no. How do I get up? Oh wait, I can ride you. Ride me. Maybe if I ride the... Did they run away? Where'd you go? Where'd they go? Yo, he ran away. Oh my gosh. Everyone's first DQ game, staircase by camp? Oh, there's a staircase by the camp? Oh my gosh, there is. Oh, that freaked me out. I was like, no, I can't go back. But there's a shiny spot, so fall. A red eye. Ooh. The eye of Saruman. No, wait, it's not the eye of Saruman. The eye of Sauron. Saruman is the wizard. Okay. I won't bother fighting you. I'll just go straight to the academy. Whoops, where am I going? I can read maps. Wow, no gates. They're very brave. Ride me, that's what she said. Um, that's a line from uh, Chronicles of Narnia. That's what Aslan says. <laughs> ah, they have gates over here. Everyone's first EQ game, people see Metal Knight Slime and hope for massive experience. Ah! <laughs> we're, we're all tricked! <laughs> There's a slug by the door. Uh... 
Neath the branches of the birches, daffodils sway and swing. Here among the graceful gardens, budding young ladies sing. Some of these are clearly monsters. We'll stride across the wide, wide world and hunt for many metals low and high. But our hearts live forever in the Academy the Notre Metal of the Madame. And he says alley oop. <laughs> Très bien. A splendid rendition, girls. Now, to your lesson. May you have a maximally fruitful day on your journey to become miniature ladies par excellence. All together now. Merci, Monsieur Medaille. I'm sorry, what? Medaille? Merci, Monsieur Medaille. Medaille? Merci, I don't think these people actually know how to speak with a French accent or speak French. Mm, what have we here? It is not so often that we receive les visiteurs. It is a minimally common occurrence, in fact. <gasps> Incroyable! I do not believe it! Young man, it must have been fate that brought you here! Destiny! La Providence! Providence! I sense a great power within you! A power of maximal significance! Give me the orb! There is much to discuss, but not out here, eh? Come okay. to my office! And I will reveal all you need to know. It is nearby, a minimal distance. You will see. It's not minimal. I see all those stairs. That's crazy. He is an interesting fellow, but now I go snooping for treasures. <gasps> lily ponds! I freaking love lily ponds. I love lilies. Water lilies are my favorite flowers, and then are and then they're fuchsias. I'm trampling all over the flowers. I'm killing everything. Oh no, that's terrible. I don't see any treasure chests though. Ah, but someone has a quest. Hello. I'm Zazie, the leader of the roughest, toughest girl gang in the academy. We live by a single rule. Don't do bad things to good people, but stuff the rest of them. Problem is, I've gone and broken it. Have you met Madame Wall Wallop, my form teacher? She's one of the good guys, but I uh, accidentally stole her favorite whip and threw it down the, uh, you know. She might seem all to be all sweetness and light, but when she gets angry, she's seriously scary. If she finds out what I've done, she'll have my guts for garters. If I could get a replacement, I might be able to take get out of this without too much trouble, but it turns out you can only make them with a fun-sized forge. I might as well face it. I'm stuffed. Hold on. You've got some kind of globe-trotting adventurer, right? You haven't happened to pick up a fun-sized forge on your travels, have you? If you have, it would be amazing if you could help me out. Well, will you help me make a new whip for Madame Wallop? Three mini medals? Heck yeah! Thanks a million. Let's get started then, shall we? I found a set of instructions for making the same type of whip in the library. Here you go. Do, 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 do. I thought she said lily palms. <laughs> Queen's whips. Madam Wallop's a classy lady, so box standard one won't cut the mustard. Sorry to be a pain, but I'm going to need a plus one version or better if I'm going to make out of this alive. Oh, don't even think of equipping it yourself. If she finds a boy's had his grubby mitts all over her special whip, they'll be held to pay. Ooh, special whip. My life's in your hands, adventurer. Forget, forge me a whip fit for a queen. And let me make amends. Well, why did you touch her whip, weirdo? Unless you wanted to do some stuff yourself. Queen's whip. Oh, okay. A fine lash, beloved of female monarchs everywhere, that's exceptionally effective against humanoids. Yeah. 
Have next strike doubled. Ah! Frick! Should have just done regular bash for that. Ah, I overestimated. Power of next strike halved. Not enough. I don't have enough for, for the frack! Oh, well, that's it. <sighs> Why does she have a whip? Who knows? Plus two, not bad. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make another one. For 1360, yeah! And I'm gonna equip it on Solbondo! Mm, flourishes. Quattro Bash. Sorry, Whip. Two. Okay. Ah! Next strike doubled. Okay. Just regular one, please. Damn it! Next strike halved. Damn it! This is gonna be a plus one. Frag. <laughs> Oh, then I'll equip the plus two on, um, Silvando and give the girl- Oh! This one's also a plus two. Okay, cool. Equipment Silvando. Uh, no. Queen's, Queen's Whip. Okay. How's the fortune come along? Have you managed to wake a queen's whip that'll meet Madame Wallop's ridiculously high standards? Whoa, what a whip! There's no way Madame Wallop can complain about this little beauty. This is sure to get me off the hook. In fact, if she ever finds out what I did, she might reward me for throwing away her ratty old one when she sees this absolute corker. <laughs> Thank you, adventurer. I owe you one. Here, you should have these. Three mini medals. Do do. And I think that's all the quests, okay. Oh wait, since we're in a different area, gotta look for treasure chests. Can I sit on the swing? Nope, can't sit on the swing. Look at all those chickens! Mmm, don't see anything, yeah. Okay. Academy time! Whip it good! Whip it. Whip it. Oh, this place is so cute and beautiful. Um, Bibliothèque. Headmaster's office is just straight ahead. But I see a quest. So we are going to go do the quest. Quest! You must be the voyager Mons Monsieur Medaille told me of. I am Madame de Beauvoir, Vice Principal de l'Academy. Perhaps you might be able to help me with une enquête privée, a private investigation. I was tidying the bookshelves in the bibliothèque the other day when I made a strange discovery. In mere amongst the old and dusty textbooks, I found a diary. I thought it was probably left behind by an ex estudiante a girl who had once studied here so i had a petit pip inside but what i found there was curious encore 
<laughs> Very strange indeed. Tell me, Voyager, will you help me get to the bottom of this little mystery? Merci, Voyager. Thank you very much. Bon allure. Let me tell you what was written in this journal. Here I will bury my memories where the shadow of the birch trees that we dreamed beneath stretches in the evening light. All that I leave behind, I leave to you, my dearest friend. It may merely be my imagination, but I cannot help thinking that this message is meant for me. When we were little girls, my best friend and I would often sit on the swings beneath the old birch's branches and speak of what our lives would be like when we were grande person. If this message is from Earth, then I must know what it means. What is buried out there in the Hardin? I would go and search myself, but alas, during the day I am very busy. I am busy with my work, and at night I cannot see where I am digging. If you would search the Hardin in my stead, I would be pray oblige. Very grateful indeed. Et bien, allow me to read the message to you. Encore une fois. Here I will bury my memories with the shadows and batteries that we dreamed when it stretches into the evening light. All I leave behind, I leave to you, my dearest friend. Oh. Whippy toast. <laughs> my tongue is tired. I, I do not like this. Time to go snooping for more books or more stuff. Any quest items that are found in the map or field will be a yellow sparkle instead of blue. Aha! Thanks for the info! Sorry, girls, I'm gonna be snooping in all your rooms! There's a book called Jolly Songs for Jolly Girls! Grubby Grubby Rumblins, a traditional of war dressing folk song. Don't be shy, sing along! Grubby Grubby Rumblins, so small and strange and lumpy. Grubby Grubby Rumblins, some of gloomy, some are grumpy. Grubby Grubby Rumblins, always sad. Grumpy Rumblins, always mad. Come on, little Grubbles, oh, it's not so bad. Grubby 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 Rumblins! <gasps> a bling bling blelt. Nice. I'm sorry, girls. I stole your belt. <laughs> a book. Story entitled, I Love to Hate You, A Schoolyard Scandal. Sang in the unkept field behind the school, the wind playing with the crimson scarf wrapped tightly around her neck and tousling her up and her Emily's eyes burned with barely concealed rage. Finally, Matilda appeared to two girls locked eyes to stop an unripe cherry poked from the corner of Matilda's mouth. You take your time, Emily. Her voice was harsh, almost screaming. Don't speak with your mouth full, Matilda, Emily snapped back. You know I hate that. You wouldn't want me to make me angry now, would you? Matilda grinned her wicked grin and spat the cherry pie into the air where it soared into a laser arc. And it was then that Emily realized the moment the pit hit the ground would mark the start of the fateful and final night between these two long standing rivals. To be continued, will Emily survive? What will happen to Matilda? Read the stunning conclusion next month and you, the Scarlet Scar Scars Farewell. So what happens? Oh man, they had nothing. Oh, another quest! Oh, another quest! <laughs> From a slug! No book! And nothing in the closet. Wow. Useless! Oh, hello there! My name's Priscilla, and I have a problem. A secret anguish that I can't tell any of my classmates. You look like a tight-lipped sort of fellow. If I share my deepest, darkest secret with you, will you promise not to tell anyone? Oh! <gasps> I get an outfit! Yes! Mwah! Thank you so much! Now you have heard of Le Mini Monde? It's our school newsletter. Well, I heard that Madame Cherie was starting a new column offering advice to the lovelorn, so I wrote a letter to ask her about my secret passion, but I'm too afraid to read her answer. What if she says he'll never be mine? My heart would break clean in two! That's why I need someone to read it for me, but I can't ask any of my classmates. They can never know the unfathomable depths of my desire. Which is where you come in. Could you go and read this month's issue of Le Mini Blonde for me? And what Madame Cherie says I should do? You'll find a pinup on a notice board in the gallery overlooking was your Madame's study. If you can't see it, just ask Bastien, the editor. She's a hammerhood, so you should be able to spot her. What's a hammerhood? Easily enough, she'll be able to tell you where to find it. Above the study newsletter? I don't think it's up here? Oh wait, I didn't go into this room, did I? No book. Feathered cap? Yo, that's from like ages ago. I don't need feathered caps. Ah, okay. Overlooking his study. So this way? Here? No. 
Oh, wait, you're the Hammerhood. What a shock, shock, shock. I'm Bastion, editor in chief of the school newsletter, Le Mini Mourn. Not that you know it from this big blank, blank, blank space on the notice board. I just finished tacking up this month's engine when it got cock, cock, cock by the breeze and blew out of the window. And to top, top, top it all off, there was an all new, new, new format. It even had the long awaited Sherry Sherry column. Advice for the lovelorn from Madame Sherry herself. Were you hoping to get, get, get some advice yourself? I'm sorry, but it would take me far too long to reprint it. I have decided to write, write, write this issue off and start work on the next one instead. If you're absolutely desperate to read Madame Sherry column, you'll just have to hunt, hunt, hunt down the one and only copy. It blew, blew, blew away in the direction of the eerie, eerie. I'll wager that some kindly monster has found it and stuck, stuck, stuck it up on a signpost somewhere. Why do I think, think, think that? Because it was a masterpiece, of course. Even the meanest monster would recognize its genius and want, want, want to share it with the whole world. Are you for real? So now I have to go back to that crossroads signpost. I can't go into the church? Okay. Oh, it was that door only. Um, I don't need you. I just want to see if there's any more books here. What are you doing? <laughs> Why are you hiding in a box? Oh, no, this is just perspective study. Okay. I was like, why are those two stuck inside a box? They're not. Books! Books! So many books! There's a book called The Seven Wonders of the Academy of the Wonder number seven, the mysterious rose of the window. Soon slain in a terrible accident. The spirit once a pupil of the Academy is not doomed only to remain in our world, but remains in the very spot where she met with her untimely death. She appears in the prep rooms at night and is never seen anywhere else. Her mournful face can be seen staring out the windows on the cold wind of the lonely eaves. And what she gazes, she only she can know. Perhaps she still dreams of graduating. Sometimes she can never do something she can never do, and have the chance to go out and see the big wide world. That's sad and creepy. What? Oh, another red book. Recipe! Fine and dandy designs. Smart suits, posh waistcoats, bling bling belts. <gasps> Does that mean I could dress my boys up in suits? King Charlemagne's maximally marvelous idea. Since long before the metal king ever became a king, he only lived for his been living mini metal scattered against many of his little golden friends as he could was all he ever cared about. But the moment he held his newborn daughter in his arms, something changed. Something suddenly he found himself caring about something else as having others. He wanted the best for his little girl no matter what it took. For three days and three nights he racked his brain trying to think of how he might ensure that the princess grew to be a wise, graceful, beautiful woman who loved many metals just as much as he did. Then on the morning of the fourth day, he performed his daily exercises, specifically to help him seek out many metals. Of course, he had an idea. Eureka, he said, I shall create a school where young ladies can learn of the wonders of the mini metals. And so the Academy of the Dojo blah, 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 was born. Oh, so. Wait, then the headmaster is a king? He's not just some crazy weirdo? <laughs> Dusty Allen. Sees the word jackpot written. It must be his lucky day. If I was lucky, I would have won the, won the lotto, but I did not. Recipe book, next level neckwear. Stars of clarity, necklaces of immunity, full moon collars. Rousing rose collars, hair river, torts of truth. Protective pendants, chokers of riddance, dogged collars, papillon pendants. What the freak? I learned a lot. Perfect pinkness for monster riding, mademoiselles. A skull rider's steed is fast and strong, but it's not so fat that the owner's turn tends to start to rumble before he reaches his destination. Anyone who's traveled on monster back knows that it's hungry work, which is why whenever I see that the world stop a monster mat, I make sure to pack a hearty lunch. Two round sandwiches and a pot of coffee with three lumps of sugar and plenty of milk, a perfect traveler's picnic with that in my knapsack. I'm ready to hit, sit back and watch the world go by in style, knowing that I have real treat waiting for me when I hunger strikes. Wee, more books. Book called All That Glitters Is Soon Gone, A Tale of Condors <laughs> and Criminality by David. David Attenville? <laughs> Deep in the eastern riches of the Champs Sauvage, a secluded valley high site high in the mountains, the local heart that eerie eerie for it is the nesting place of most infernal flying fence, the Elysian bird. Like many of its smaller avian cousins, this bird shows a compulsive interest in the objects that twinkle and glisten, and will roam far and wide in search of such treasures. The most egregious example of this behavior occurred when quite recently when a particularly aggressive individual attacked a nearby manor house. The beast tore through the roof of the building and made away with a large silver orb. Silver orb! The most precious heirloom of the noble family who dwelt there. The monster was thought to have taken the orb back to the eerie, but a party sent to recover it never returned to scene lucky that both under treasure they thought will never be seen again okay so that's where one of the orbs is by the bird maybe that's where the headmaster is going to tell us where to go 
This looks like the previous year's student register. There's a list of all kinds of weird and wonderful names followed by a note saying that the register for the next school year will be compiled soon. One more book. There's an old book entitled The Metal Wedding Wisdom of Lady Minette. Maximilian. Mes chéris, if you have ever lost how to be a perfect little lady, I ask you to one thing for remember the example of the mini metal hunt. What is the first thing we do when we set out and search for our little friends? That's why we run well, check the world maps and think carefully about where we will begin our search. In other words, we exercise our knowledge of the world and our powers of reason. These two things on which all our actions have mature thoughtful ladies must be based. To discover mini metals is to discover the world, and this is why we must seek them out to become the woman in this day and age, be to be a thinker and does par excellence. Cool. Uh, that door is locked. I'm guessing I need to find, like, a pendant or something. That'll help me open- wait, there's a door? Or- oh wait, no, I went upstairs this way, right? No, it's a door. Bum, bum. Oh, it's just back out here. Okay, well, it's not nighttime, and that's the birch tree, so... Before I go to nighttime, though, I'll speak with the headmaster just to move the story along. And then I can rest at the inn until nighttime and then find the birch tree thing. Oh, wait, are there any hidden. <gasps> There's an angel sword! Potato! Tut tut tut. Who's this disturbing my precious few seconds of sleep? Oh, wait a minute. You're the luminary, are you not? I was. Um just taking a nap after spending so tons of time searching for a password. Speaking of which, allow me to share the one I found with you. I found a password. He can now visit Neverglade via the Altar of the Heavenly Bride. Ooh. Talkity tick, you can use that password I gave you to visit another world from the Echo Chamber in Tickington. There are more talkles out there whiling away the hours searching for passwords, you know. Be sure to take a moment to talk to them if you come across any. And with that, I'm clocking off and trundling back to Tickington. It was lovely meeting you, and good luck with the rest of your adventure. Tick tock! Yay, I found a potato! I think that's five new passwords now. Revisit memories! Yes, memories! I thought there'd be more Idrisil roots, but I haven't really come across any. I think this is only the- Oh! Wait, chapters? Oh, so it just lets me see his cutscenes again? Um, that's- that's kind of dumb. I thought it would show me memories of what happened in the school. Boo. Yeah, because the other two um, Yggdrasil roots that I found, it showed like, ah ha ha ha, hi, I'm the boss, I'm doing evil things. Book? No? No? Pots? No? Okay, let's just talk. Ah, there you are. Now, uh, you must allow me to introduce myself properly. properly. I am Maxime Medallier. Medallier. And this Medallier. is my humble establishment. L'Academy de Notre Maître des Medailles. Notre Maître des Medailles. Into beautiful, full grown Notre Maître de Medaille. As part of the education, we encourage our pupils to journey through all journey. the lands of Edrea and to gather the maximum number of mini medals they can find. As they hunt for medals, they immerse themselves in the cultures of the world. And acquire at least a minimum of. Uh, but eventually, all the mini medals will fair. run out, so it's like you can't really send them out anymore unless you but redistribute them so into often, the world. A born medal hunter comes along. I sense this in you. Like, I who originally the made the mini medals? I maximally adroit medal detector of my career before me. Mm. However, there is one miniature problem. The Academy is for young girls, and young girls alone. Sadly, I cannot offer you a place I don't in. want to be part of the Academy. But does this mean I will allow such potential maximal to remain untapped? No! Whoa, okay. 
By the power vested in me, I hereby enroll you. Student as handbook, but it's only one card? And that's not a handbook. Now to the formalities. First of all, take this, your very own album de medaille. De quoi? What is this you are saying? You already have an album de medaille from the miniature medal exchange in Puerto Valor? I knew it was bonny day to open that office. I have them out and out albums to able adventurers in the hopes of finding a medal collector maximal. And now I have found you. Now that you are enrolled as an honorary student of the academy, I can give you access to the full package for elite metal detectors only. Allow me to upgrade your album to its maximum capacity. Hooray, more pay. How many medals are there? For each and every mini medal that you bring to me, I will add a mini skill stamp to the album. And the more stamps you collect, the more maximally magnificent your rewards will be. Now go, young man. Your quest to collect the maximum number of mini medals has officially begun. Seek them out, pick them up, and bring them to me. Cool. I'll do that after I break your pots. Oh, I found a mini medal. Woohoo! There's over 100? I think I only found like two. I don't even think I found 20. No, I did find 20. I think I only have like 24 or something. <sighs> Oh my gosh, but over a hundred. I'm gonna be have to I'm gonna have to look for mini medals and and potato people. Ugh. This is the Academy Dormitory where all our lovely little ladies eat, sleep, and dream. I will stay. No, I just wanted to rest. I want to re rest until nighttime. Frack, they don't give me the option to rest. No! Pearl Boutique? 202 pearls. When did I get pearls? Oh, Perfectionist Pearls. Uh, I don't want to buy any. Okay. Oh, wait. Do you sell holy waters? I get so nervous. I want no. Oh, they also sell tiaras. Um... Let's see. Defense plus 24, charm plus 40. Uh, safety goggles. Yeah. Strong medicine, strong antidote. Moonwort bulb. Angel bell. Cures a single ally of confusion. Red eye, blue eye, yellow eye, green eye. Don't really need to buy them because I can just auto buy them. Uh, sparkly sap, cherry blossom petal. Purple eye. I don't think I need to buy any of this. Um, the tiara help? Nah, let's just save my money. The quest for the kit can be done at day, but easier to see the yellow sparkle at night. Oh, I can do it during the day. Okay. Okay. Then I will just go to the swings of the... Wait, I could have just gone out that door. Uh, dummy. Okay, well, he didn't help me with the orb, but the library did. So now I have to go to the eerie eerie. Okay, yellow sparkle, yellow sparkle. Yellow sparkle. Mm, I'm seeing yellow flower petals. Uh, yeah, because the other side doesn't have birch tree swings. Let's just button mash X everywhere. <laughs> also, if your friend wrote this for you, why didn't you remember where it was? I'm too busy during the day and at night I can't see where I'm digging. Well, you seem to have a lot of free time now since you're just sitting in the cafeteria. Yeah. Whoa, okay, I didn't want to talk to you, kid. It's actually the big flower bed circle in the center. I guess you could see that uh, easier at nighttime. Do, 
do, do, do, do, do, do, do. There are random little girls here. I don't want to talk to them. Big flower bed. <sighs> yellow sparkles, yellow sparkles. Oh, wait, can I go up? Okay, frack! Oh, there it is! A memory box! Thanks for the hint, ultimate! Okay, lady, I found it! Hello, Voyager! Did you find anything in Zihardin? I hand over the memory box. You found this box. What is inside, I wonder? Let me have a little look. Finds a red ribbon and a letter inside. She unfolds the letter and begins to read. By the time you read this, I'll be far, far away. The crown prince of Heliodor. <gasps> I'll ask for my hand in marriage and I cannot refuse him. I am to be a queen, so I can't not think only of my own happiness anymore. My kingdom and my people must come first. I'm afraid that I will no longer be myself. But even though I may change, I will always carry the wonderful memories of the days we share together in my heart. I will never forget you. So I beg you, dear friend, do not forget me. Remember the girl I was and know that you will always be my meilleur ami, mon ami sir, my best friend, my soulmate. I give you my ribbon as a token of our eternal friendship. You always said how much you liked it. Now it's yours. Ah, so it is true. It is a letter from her, my dearest friend. She was the prettiest girl in the school. La plus belle fille de l'Academy. With long, beautiful black hair that she always tied with that big red ribbon. Oh, bright red ribbon. On the day of our graduation, I learned that she was to be married to the prince of a faraway kingdom. I felt so betrayed. We had such a terrible argument. That was the last time I ever saw her. I heard she gave birth to a daughter, but was taken ill soon after the child was born and passed away. I have always regretted what happened that night. We should not have fought. She was happy, and I should have been happy for her. So many years have passed since those... You... The rev... The dreamlike days we spent together. But I have thought about ma belle me every day since we said au revoir. Merci, Voyager. I can... I thank you for bringing us together once more. Voila. Take your ribbon as your reward. When my friend was a jeune fille, she wore it in her beautiful air. But I am an old woman now. I must follow her lead and let go of childish things. Let your companion wear it instead. She is très belle too, with long black hair just like that of my friend. I'm sure it will suit her just as much as it did my belle ami. Guess what? It is her daughter. Bam. Uh, Jade! Uh, wait, where is it? Is it an accessory? Bell's bow. Defense... Attack goes down by nine. No, thank you. Sorry. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Okay, um... Okay, gotta leave the school anyway to head to the Eerie Eerie, and I'll, instead of warping to the campsite, I'll walk because I need to go to the signpost. Can upgrade the accessories? How? Oh, dang, it's getting close to two hours. Well, let me try to see if I can find the signposts. Uh, whoa, it's loading! Okay, a signpost by there. Um, well, there was one signpost closer to... Um... Oh, wait, is it here? Uh, nope, it's not that. Um, is there another signpost? Let me check the one that the small potato was by. Hmm. Yeah, 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 I don't care about you. Uh, farm, nope. 
Uh, by spending pearls at Forge and give 6 MP per turn plus 3. Oh! That would be helpful. My Blu-rays for One Piece Strong World and Filmsy came in today. Nice! I love getting new movies to watch. It's all fun. What's at the end of this thing? Oh wait, the campsite. Um, no, let's try going up this way. Oh wait, no, this is the way I came when I went to the campsite. I don't remember seeing a signpost. I actually had to go to Eerie Eerie Place for Crest. Okay, well, I'm heading there anyway, so yay! Oh, I could just drop down. Psh. Um, actually, then, because I have to go to Eerie Eerie, I'll just save here. And I will um, end stream here. I'll forge everything off screen. Yeah. I'll be forging now, and I don't have to um, level grind because I did that today. Yay! So, yeah, successful adventuring. I feel like we did a lot. But that's it for me tonight, and I will resume streaming this on Monday. So, have a good night. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Stay toasty. Have a good night, everyone, and have a good weekend. <sighs> I just finished watching Baron and the Secret Island. Metal slime farming? Oh, I already did metal slime farming. I'm done for now. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye.